Hello, Stu Wilson back. Um, yeah, I wanted to do a little bit more of a serious video this time. Um, I was just doing a bit of Bible study and a bit of work for college, and I was just looking out the window and just kind of <clears throat> thanking God, you know, for being in the truth. But you know, what occurred to me is most people are not in the truth. You know, they're, they're being deceived by the powers that be. You know, we, we we think that, well, we look around the world and we think, oh, you know, with what's been going on at the moment, I won't say the word, so I'll probably get it dragged down. But we think that, you know, we're about to turn the corner if we just do this, this or this. Things are going to go back to how they were. But the truth is they're not going to go back to how they were. The... It's, a, it's control that's behind all of this and the ratchet is just going to get tighter and tighter and tighter until the freedoms are gone now we have as human beings um, we have a disease humans and it's worse than than any of the diseases that we can think of cancer dementia AIDS Crohn's, whatever you want to pick out of them. There's one that's a lot worse. And there's only one cure for it. The disease is sin. We've got a sin nature. And the answer is the creator. And most of you probably might want to stop the video here. And that's, that's fair enough. Good luck to you. I'll pray for you. But there is... It's coming, time's running out. You know, you look at look around the world at the moment, the world's in pieces, we've got fires everywhere, famine in these countries, uh, earthquakes going off left, right and centre, the earth's splitting and in places and the ice caps are melting and the sea, sea levels are dying off, are rising. There's so much going on out there at the moment. And then there's, you've got the fear of the other stuff that's going on, which is affecting obviously each, each and every person. But ultimately what's behind it is control. And it's been going on for thousands of years. It goes back to the Tower of Babel. We won't go into that, that's probably for another time. but. Yeah, there's a, the, the good news is, though, there is an answer. You can be saved from it. Not just from what's going on at the moment. You can have peace in your heart. You can live joyous. You can live happy. You can live without fear of what's going on around us. Time's running out for sure. Thirty-seven I was when I first heard the good news, the gospel, thirty-seven years old. So I was deceived for my whole life pretty much. Um But the salvation is available to each and every one of us. There's a God in heaven who's looking down over you, who loves you dearly. And if we turn to him and trust in him rather than ourselves we can find that peace and that joy and that happiness we can we can fill that empty void that we all have if you're not in christ you, you you've got it if you're honest with yourself you might pretend that you're happy and you've got this that and the other you try and buy happiness new car nice house missus da, 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 da. but really we're just sinners lost lost in our drugs and our drink and our porn and our cheating and in sin basically and we think that we're good people but we're not good people we're, we're, we're truly not good people we might be in, in our standard our standard of, of goodness but not to a holy God a holy and righteous God we, we, we just fall short so what do we do what do we do to get saved? How do we escape not only 
for what's about to come in this world because things are going to get a heck of a lot worse let me tell you um not sure exactly when don't know if it's days months or a few years but things are going to get progressively worse and worse and one day something's going to happen which is going to change everything you're going to look around and half of the people are going to be raptured they're going to be in heaven you've got a chance now to change where you are going there's two ways there's heaven or there's the other place and nobody wants to go there for eternity let me tell you so you've got you've got an opportunity you know um salvation what is it how do i find it how do i get saved from the madness the the deceit and the the um and what's to come we repent that's what we do we repent and people think repentance is oh, I've, I've got to give up this i've got to give up that i've got to live a certain way i've got to live da, 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 do tick off all these boxes and that's just not true repentance is a change of mind it's saying i don't want to go that anymore that way anymore i'm going to turn that way i'm going to turn 180 degrees and i'm going to i'm going to come to the savior and if he's real he will place his Holy Spirit in my heart. And let me tell you guys, he is real. And that's exactly what he will do. But it's not just about praying a little prayer. You know, you get some Christians that think that, oh, well, I prayed a prayer in church. I used to go to church once a week when I was 12. And I prayed this prayer, this, this prayer and invited Jesus into my heart. And he made this lovely little treehouse and everything was all perfect. And yeah, I just basically carried on living how I wanted. And that was it. That doesn't get you to heaven. It's about making... Jesus, not just your saviour, but your Lord, your Lord and saviour. So you go to him with everything, absolutely everything. And he will give you the strength that you need to um, to get through these obstacles of life and give you so much more, fill you with his spirit and just fill you with joy and peace and love and kindness and gentleness and all, this, all, the, all the fruits of the Holy Spirit, basically. And it's an awesome thing. And I was so lost four years ago. A broken heroin addict, completely, completely lost and empty, and and I'd given up. But he hadn't. <laughs> he hadn't given up on me. And I just thank him every day. Now every day I'm just so grateful, and I'm just growing from strength to strength. I'm learning so much. I've, I'm now at my second lot of college. I've done counseling for a couple of years now i've got on to the level four i'm doing a degree in theology kingdom theology who would have thought that awesome so if you can do that to me you can do that to other people too and i just thought i need to make a little video here because i never even heard the gospel until i was 37 years old i just i knew that there was i believed in a god but I, you know you'd have to be stupid it takes more faith to believe that there isn't a god than there is you know we only have to look around us and we see creation um you know there's creation so that tells me there's a creator and um, an intelligent creator that designed everything because everything works in order and it's not just random it's but that was as far as i got with it i, I believed that there was a god but i didn't know what i needed to do to be saved i didn't know that i could be saved um but yeah so so you get people like going back to that they think that because their parents are christian or because they go to church for an hour on a sunday or because they invite jesus into the heart 20 years ago that they're a christian and it's just not true it's christian is a daily thing repentance is a daily thing it's a walk with jesus it's turning from your way from your sinful lifestyle to him and it doesn't happen overnight we come to him with all our issues. I was a, I was a heroin addict and everything else, addicted to porn, um, sleeping with random women every week. And I opened a lot of doors and I'm in a process now of closing them doors. Another story. But yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome journey. And I just wanted the people out there to know that you can have it too. You don't have to feel lost and empty and struggling with the addiction, struggling with this, struggling with that on your own, feeling like there's only you in the world that feels like this. 
because God's with you and he's, whether you believe it or not, he's with you through them struggles anyway, regardless. And all he wants you to do is to turn around and start walking that way. And he'll give you his spirit and he will start to change you so that he removes your heart of stone, puts in a heart of flesh and you start to want to live for him. You, you, you find that no longer are you desiring to watch this and that. No longer are you wanting to go out all weekend and take this, that and the other. Your desires changed and your ways of looking at the world changed. It, it, it's, it's, we can't do it ourselves. It, it's supernatural. It's a supernatural thing that takes place. But all we have to do is turn to him and say, you know what? I'll tell you what, I don't, I don't take my word for it. But if you've got, if anything's pricking your conscience a little, just a little bit here, I, I, I challenge you tonight when you put your head on your pillow to ask God to say, if you're real, pray to him, say, if you're real, then show me you're real. And he'll do the rest. I promise you that he will do the rest. If you're honest from your heart and you really mean it, something supernatural will take place. Take place. It might not be tonight, might not be next week. But things will start happening. People will start coming into your life that never would have before and your direction will start to change. But you've got to hand your will over. You've got to say, you know what? If you're real, then I want what's on offer. I want salvation, not only from all this madness and, and to give you that peace and joy, but to go to heaven, to go to heaven. You know, it doesn't matter what we think. Um, oh yeah, you're going to die, you're going to go into the ground, and that's the end of it. That's not the end of it. We're spiritual beings. Everything that happens in the natural happens in the spiritual first. Take my word for that. And us being spiritual beings means that we are, we've got an eternity to come, and it's one or the other. And the chance is now. Now is the time. And look around you guys. We're, coming, we're in the last days. I'm sure of it. I really believe we're in the last days, and that's why I wanted to do this. Just to tell you that there is an answer, not only from your problems here on earth, he will, he will deal with all that and so much more, but also he'll, he, will, he will give you that true salvation where you'll go to heaven and you'll be with the creator, with a God who loves you dearly in a place for eternity where you will truly want to be. So yeah, just yeah just take it on board guys and there's an answer and if i can help in any way with your journey or if you have any questions or any anything's pricking your conscience then just get in touch my email address will be, be underneath and uh, i'll pray for you i'll pray for you all nightly i want revival to happen not just in preston but in england we need to fight back we need to to get to the truth it's all about the truth for me now i I dig and dig and dig for the truth.